So let's talk about something interesting I keep hearing. If you have enough nitric oxide, you should not have a heart attack. Now, is this really true? Let me explain in a way that actually makes sense. So think of your heart and a blood vessel like a busy city. Nitric oxide is like a traffic control system that helps keep everything flowing smoothly. It opens up your blood vessels. So imagine roads getting wider to let more traffic through. This helps your blood flow better, keeps your blood pressure healthy, and of course reduces inflammation. But here's the thing. Even the best traffic system can't prevent all problems in a city. Just like a city can have many different issues, your heart can face eight different types of challenges. By the way, continue watching as I will share supplementation protocol for each of these eight factors. So first, think about traffic problems. Even with perfect traffic lights, that's your nitric oxide, you can still have accidents, blood clots, road damage, like plaque buildup, or roads that suddenly narrow, like artery spasms. Sometimes the smaller streets get clogged, like some small vessel problems, or there aren't enough alternative routes when main roads are blocked. Second, imagine structural problems in buildings. So your heart can have similar issues, like having doors that won't close properly, that's like a valve problems, or walls that aren't built quite right, like structural defects. Sometimes parts of the building needs repair or start changing shape in ways they shouldn't. Third, consider your heart's electrical system. Just like a building needs proper wiring, your heart needs its electrical signals to work correctly. Sometimes the wiring can faulty or the signals can get mixed up, causing a regular heartbeat. Fourth, think about your body's chemistry lab. Sometimes there is too much inflammation, for example, like having too much heat in a reaction, or cells, power plants, your mitochondria, aren't working efficiently. It's like trying to run a factory with a faulty equipment. Fifth, we have ongoing health conditions like diabetes or high blood pressure. These are like having constant construction work in different parts of the city that affects everything else. Six, there are outside factors like stress, pollutions, or medications. These are like weather conditions or external events that affect how the city functions. Seventh, we have genetic factors, things you inherited from your family. This is like having a blueprint that might include some challenging design features. Eight, there are lifestyle choices like how much you sleep, exercise, or what you eat. These are like the daily maintenance decisions that keeps the city running smoothly. So the good news is that we can protect and support all these different aspects of heart health. Just as a city needs more than just good traffic control to function well, your heart needs more than just nitric oxide. So let me show you a comprehensive approach to protecting each part of your heart health system from circulation to structure to electrical function. So first, let's look at keeping our traffic system, which is circulation, running smoothly. Think of this like maintaining our city's roads. So we have narrokinase, which works like special road cleaners that prevent traffic jams, like blood clots. You have K2 and D3 work together like road maintenance crews, keeping our arterial walls strong. You have nitrate, are like road wideners, helping our blood vessels stay open, act like a protective coating for our arterial roads it helps maintain even the smallest streets in our city and fish oil keeps everything flowing smoothly like having a well-oiled road for our building structure your heart we need strong material collagen is like the steel beams of our building magnesium works as the foundation material vitamin c is the cement that holds everything together Coenzyme Q10 is like the energy system that powers the building. Taurine helps maintain the building's strength. D-ribose provides energy for repairs. 
For our electrical system, we need reliable components. Magnesium torate acts as a high quality wiring. Potassium works like a power regulator. Get this from foods like pomegranates and avocados. Hawthorne extract helps maintain the electrical circuits. B vitamins are like the electricians keeping everything running. And selenium helps protect the wiring. So for our chemistry lab biochemical balance, NAC is like an air purifier cleaning out toxins. Alpha lipoic acid works as a powerful maintenance screw. Glorathione is our master cleanup system. Berberine helps regulate energy source. PQQ and resveratrol are like efficiency upgrades. For ongoing health conditions, think of these supplements like specialized repair teams. Berberine helps manage blood sugar. Grapeseed extracts helps with the blood pressure. Each one targets specific issues in our city. For protection from outside threats, molecular hydrogen acts like an invincible shield. Chlorella and spirulina are like environmental cleanup crews. Zinc and vitamin C are our security system. For genetic support, these are like having smart systems that help compensate for any built-in challenges. Methyl B vitamins and folate help optimize our genetic expression. Think of it as upgrading our city's original blueprint. And finally, for lifestyle support, magnesium helps manage stress like a city-wide calming system. Althianine and GABA are like having peaceful parks in our city. Ashgawanda and Rhodiola help our city adapt to challenges. And melatonin helps ensure proper rest and repair cycles. So remember, maintaining heart health requires a comprehensive approach. While this information provides a foundation for understanding, everyone's needs are unique. I encourage you to have a thoughtful discussion with your healthcare provider about implementing these strategies for your specific situation. They can help customize this approach based on your individual health profile and any existing condition. Now for your reference, I've prepared a detailed supplement protocol guide that breaks down all the components I discussed today. You'll find this downloadable PDF in the video description below. It includes specific dosages, uh, timing recommendations, and important considerations for each supplement mentioned. So be sure to like this video if you found it helpful, subscribe to the channel for more evidence-based health information, and check the description for the free downloadable heart health protocol. Don't forget to enable notifications as well so you won't miss our upcoming videos where I'll dive deeper into each aspect of cardiovascular health optimization. So in the meantime, stay healthy and I'll see you in the next video.